Welcome to another edition of Yacht Life Chronicles, where we are better together than separated. How you guys doing out there? We have a wonderful guest in the building today. You know, we have one of the most prominent men in the city of Saginaw. You know, one of the most mm -hmm. popular men. You know, everybody know who he is. You know, he go by the name of Disco. You know, I'm going to let him introduce who he is to y'all. But, you know, we just want to come to you guys, talk to you guys about, because there's so many things so, about his life, man, about his personality, you know, about his character that I wanted to bring to y'all. You know, he's he's a man that then de defeated a lot of adversity. He's been through a lot of adversity throughout his life. And for anybody that has been through adversity, for anybody that's in that impoverished state right now, then you need to pay attention to his story because this man got a very, very unique story um, that he brought here today. So I'm gonna let you just go, pass it over to you, man. Just interview, just, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You know, uh, explain to the viewers out there who you are. My name is Robert Jamerson, a.k.a. Disco Rob. Man, and one thing about me and Skull is that, you know, we've been knowing each other for quite a while. And we got, you know, we have the same premise, you know. You know, he throw, he's a party promoter, you know. He throws a lot of parties, you know. And he brings people together through his parties, you know with the love and the, and, the, and the celebrations that he throw. You know, when he throw a party, you know, he bring the whole city out, you know. And with my podcast, We Better Together Than Separated, you know, I'm, I'm as well, you know, bringing people together, you know what I'm saying, trying to unify individuals, you know, because it's too much separation, you know. So we uh, we mirror each other in that in that aspect. And um, I think that, that we have some great content that we're going to bring you guys today. So, um, what's been going on, Dick? Man, out the way. That's it. Working that's out it. the way. That's what's up, man. So, let's, let's, let's take it a little bit back for a minute, man. How was, how was life? What schools you went to? Let's start off with that, man. What, what were some of the schools you went to? Uh, elementary, I went. I did Highland Park. Um, Long Street, mm -hmm. Heaven Rich. So that was the three like elements that did. We moved a lot earlier in our years. Yeah, okay. We moved a lot, so yeah. And we know you from the north. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, no, no. Everybody think that. Okay. Everybody think that because I be with North Side guys, but no, I'm straight up born on the East Side, raised. Yeah, the most okay. stomping grounds. What about on the East? On 15th, 15th and Perkins, uh, 14th. 13th, like all the number streets, 12, mm -hmm. 11, but we lived on 12, mm -hmm. lived on 15, lived on 11, mm -hmm. so yeah. So how did you, how did you uh, migrate to the north side? Or was your, all your friends just north side friends? Earlier, before I went to the training school, I'm um, mm -hmm. strictly east side, but when I come home, like all the guys that I used to hang with locked up now. Mm -hmm. So I just started hanging with some old different cats, you know what I'm saying, and then all of a sudden, everybody starts thinking I'm from the north side. Like, right. no, no, I'm from the east side. I just mm -hmm. hang with north side niggas. Now, mm -hmm. you know, I hang with anybody, but that's who I majority be with. Right. North side cats. So that's how you was identified that you was from the north side. Yeah, they just put that label on me. You know, yeah. A lot of people on the outside looking in, but no, nah, I'll tell you exactly where I'm from, you know, but mm -hmm. that's just that's the assumption. Right. So when did it? come a time when you became, when you got into your first little, little squabble, first little beef? Man, junior high, you know, um, me and a couple of my partners, you know, we at the party, yeah. you know, doing <laughs> our thing, you know, turn the parties out, so we get a little attention, you know, mm -hmm. you know, some positive, negative, you know, cats right. that ain't feeling it, you know, yeah. so that's what really made us, um, I wasn't thinking about gang banging, but these cats, um, mm -hmm. cats at the school we go with, you know, they are age, so 
they really can't deal with us. Yeah. So they go bring some of the older cousins. Bro. They coming back. You know, we 14. They coming back with these old niggas, 17, 18. Damn, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> Trying to take, yeah. So after every party of school, they outside. So we got to go out the back door. We at the party at the Twins crib, Big Mac and Little Mac, the mm -hmm. house. They come up in there. I'm like, oh, man, we got to sneak out the house. All right. So these niggas chasing us like every weekend yeah. almost. These niggas <laughs> chasing us to the hood. Yeah. So Dirty Harry, they chased us one day. Mm. And Dirty Harry was like, hey, what's going on? So they're like, man, they keep chasing us. Mm -hmm. So he said, the next day we're going to have a meeting. Mm -hmm. And that's when the click started. That was my first um, initiation of gang banging. Yeah. Got tired of getting chased. Yeah, man. These cats kept chasing us. I mean, come on, man. We ain't you know. with that. We trying to, you know, right. holler some females and do our yeah. thing. But. So it was more or less like you was forced into it. Yeah, I was forced into it. Like you didn't, didn't like, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you didn't even have a choice. You didn't have a choice. Didn't have none at all back then. You know, and I know it was rough and I know it was heavy far as like the gang banging culture. You know what I'm saying? Back then. When did I was stabbed when I was 15. <laughs> you were stabbed when you was 15? I got stabbed three times when I was 15, yeah. So when did when was your first time you got shot? I got shot in 89 after I graduated. The first time we was in Flint, messing around. We really were supposed to go down to Flint to go pick up um train. The train was going to mock. He was going to mock college. So me, Marvin Boggs, George Mushat, and Duck, Donald mm -hmm. Mexican. It's four cats in the car. We finna go pick up. You know what like, We ride four, yeah, five D yeah, back in the yeah. day. So we finna go to Flint just to go get him from school and come back. That was the whole plan. Right. But Joe and Mitchell kept talking about, yeah, I'm gonna take the pistol. I'm like, take the pistol for what? We just going and coming right back. Right, right. So we end up getting down there. You know, we get to partying with the college cats. Right. You know, we drinking, doing whatever. One thing led to another. Then we go to the skating rink and we just out there chilling. So cats just coming out, you know, and just looking. It wasn't no problems or nothing. Mm -hmm. So we leave the skating rink and go jump in the car. We finna go on the strip where anybody else. Right. By that time, I'm I'm buzzing up, so I'm sleeping in the back seat. Here come my partner. He's like, hey, man, we getting into it with these guys. I jump out the car trying to figure out what's going on. George Mushad acting mm -hmm. a fool. He's right. there showing out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Showing out in front of a train and all them against them cats. And they 270, whatever, back then. So... I'm telling him, okay, let's go. Dudes act like mm -hmm. they don't want to fight, so let's go. Mm -hmm. So we getting in the car, getting ready to get on the highway. As soon as we getting ready to get on the highway, my man pulled up and aired us out. Damn. Damn. He aired us out, shot me, and shot Duck. Every time we getting on the highway, he steady lighting the car. <laughs> yeah. So where you get shot at? Uh, across my leg, because he pulled up on my side. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about we getting on the highway, I'm asleep again. Right. I had George arguing out the window. I look right. up, my man right there, man, I'm... Right. Like, man, lucky it shoot me in the face. Yeah. Man. So that was a, you know, you know, um, you know, a time that, you know, you skipped out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, an angel was with you, you know. Yeah. Yeah, my second time skating day. Like I said, my man stabbed me three times. I had my bladder hanging out, you know. So I was like, man. Had your bladder hanging out? Yeah, my bladder was hanging out. My bladder just busted right here. When I lifted up my shirt, I said, my bladder, I, I thought I was going to go in the shock. I went to panic it. You know, wow. it just busted. Boom, mm -hmm. you know, I did a drill going down my stuff. So what they had, John, shit bad? No, no, never had. So I stayed in the hospital about a week. Oh, yeah? Yeah, about a week. Okay, yeah. okay. So, and then you got, you got shot a second time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the second time. Tell I us a little bit about that. Yeah, we up at um, TNM, chilling, kicking it. I, I forgot what event it just had, basketball game or something. I don't know. Some cats got to fight. I ain't fighting. Right. So I'm chilling, you know, talking to a few females or whatever. Like some boom, boom, got shot. So everybody took off running. I guess mm -hmm. the dude who came up, who shot, he was with the dude that um, just got knocked out. So everybody's running. So I was just standing there. So he was like, you ain't from one? Mm -hmm. I ain't for no more. for what? Right. See, I ain't did nothing. So, mm -hmm. oh, well, boom. So, he shot again. So, mm -hmm. got a little, little buzz and the stuff. I mm -hmm. should have just went on, you know? Right. But we going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He had shot like twice already. Shot the air. They shot past me. And then, I don't know. I guess I kind of forced his hand a little right. bit, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because I, 
kind of forced the man. I should have just let it go, but I forced him to shoot me. I was shoot me, nigga, you know, yeah. woo, woo. and he finally just shot me, you know, so he shot me. He shot me mm. in the neck. Yep, I was paralyzed instantly. So, how long was you paralyzed? Uh, probably about a year to the doctor's time, my nerves back together. Yeah, probably about a year. Did you ever think that you was going to get that, that feeling back in your body back? Did you ever think that you was going to walk again? Like well, during it, that time, I could walk. No, I was paralyzed. My arm, I couldn't yeah, move my arm. Okay, okay, my nerves, arm. right here, just my nerves. Right. Did you think you was gonna ever get that nerve back in your arm? No, I just didn't know how. I just didn't see how right. it could. It did it, but you know, it came back by eighty percent, though. You know, so I'm so when you was able to get that 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 first little good feeling back, I was in the uh, therapy crying. The first time my my finger moved like this, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't wait to get back to therapy the next day to show my therapist where I was like, look. Right. Move my finger up over there and cry. Right. Because <laughs> I could have just imagined, you know what I'm saying, going through that, going through that, 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 that type of um, right. pain, man, and going through that, that, that adversity, man. Yeah, it wasn't just the pain. It was yeah. just that I really never, well, I ain't going to try to make myself be like that, but not too many people, like, really talk, you know, stuff to me in my face. Right. So after I got shot, man, nah. Right, it made right. you thinking the whole other way, nah. Man, nah, because everybody <laughs> want to talk junk to me. Yeah. You know, so it made, so it did make me, so that was yeah. one of my, the thing, the shoot came into play. You know, because right. I didn't, I would rather just fight you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But when so, it keeps shooting you. Yeah. Man. So the second time you had got shot, that's when you knew it was time for you to strap up your damn self. Yeah, so you're going to have to, to keep, yeah. I got to. I got to. You know what I'm saying? I'm keep getting shot, you know? Yeah. Here it is again, you forced into another situation. Yeah, yeah. You know. So tell us about the third time you got shot. The third time I got shot was up at uh Arthur Eddy. A little incident we had with a few cats that and said that we cool now, you know. Mm -hmm. Should have never happened. But we up at Eddy and um some stuff jumped off. I'm in the tricast. Right. But I was supposed to be at work at the liquor battle. I work for Lingo, so he'll let me leave. Right. Know? Go party for a minute, you just stay out of trouble. So I was like, all right. Go up in there. One thing led to another. Cats got to shooting and damn, he shot me in both of my legs and shot like about four more people. Yeah, he shot about four more people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was like my third and fourth time getting shot. So how was that, man? How long you stayed in there? That wasn't really too much because it went yeah. through both of my legs, shot me in both my legs with a little 22. So it yeah. went through this one and this one is still yeah. in. But it didn't, yeah, I was yeah. just on a walker for about a week right. or something like that. So that was like, besides getting shot in my head, I think that was like the right. next to shooting in the head. It was the easiest one. And then adversity hit you again when it shoot you the fourth time. Yeah, well, the fifth time. Fifth, because yeah, yeah, on four different occasions. Okay, yeah. 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 yeah, I had a party down in Indiana. We just had a party down there like a month ago where we took the whole city. Right. It was like about a hundred of us down there. Right. All Bird Street, it was everybody down right. there. So we had a nice party, nice setting, wasn't no problems. Right. Got another party about a month later. Mm -hmm. But we don't go down there deep, this deep. I think we don't go down like about five deep. And this party is jumping. That other one we had, it ain't, this one is jumping. Right. So I'm on security, you know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm working the door, I'm searching yeah. cats. But I'm steady arguing with them at the door because I'm searching them. Right. You know, cats, you know, talking crazy because I'm going to make sure you ain't getting in mm -hmm. with nothing. So you know how right. guys yeah. get at the door when they feel that you're yeah. doing too much. Yeah. So we like, oh, we left the pistol in the car. So we just, I'm steady going back and forth with different cats. So my cousin came, he's like, cuz, let's get this money. Mm -hmm. He's like, quit arguing with these cats. I'm like, mm -hmm. man, niggas ain't going to keep disrespecting me, talking mm -hmm. to me crazy. So he said, all right. He said, just mm -hmm. you, you gonna be a roamer in the inside and let Vince work it though. Mm -hmm. So now I'm roaming. Another incident. Guys up in there drunk, acting crazy. So my cousin was finna put the dude out. Mm -hmm. okay? So here comes some other big dude. He didn't snatch him up like, no, I got it. He's straight. Mm -hmm. uh, he gotta go. Exactly. You know, so we went to going back and forth. And nigga picked up a chair. So I, I never showed my pistol. You know, yeah. I just Telling y'all, y'all gotta go, or whatever. Yeah. So when he picked up the chair, I just whipped out now. Nah. Yeah. Put that down. So he put the chair down, so he like, 
now you want to fight. So I'm like, man, it's kind of too late for that fight, yeah. nigga. Yeah. You know, so he don't know my cousin Mark D coming up behind him, boom, hit him with the chair, and it just, we got all out brawl. With the first dude he was gonna put out, he whooping on him and this dude right here. Like I said, that's the reason I believe God spared me because I started to shoot the niggas. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just for y'all starting to start, I started right. to just bust, but not to kill them. You know, right. just like, to I get might them shoot from your back. I'm yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. they ain't on us, and we got them. Yeah, I was just yeah. like, we got them on the yeah. ground. Yeah. It's just how your mindset goes right. with so much stuff going on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you was wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, so. I didn't, you know, I didn't. So we just stumped them out, like three of them, because another dude came. Mm -hmm. So we had our thing, so we throwing them out, you know, whoop, whoop, everybody mm -hmm. running all out the building. So we locking the doors back up. Mm -hmm. As soon as we locked the door up, I'm like, boom, boom, boom. So I'm like, looking for one of my cousins. I'm like, damn, I didn't lock cuz out. Mm -hmm. So I like, go back to open the door up, think this cuz is one of the guys. Mm. You no, know, it was really three guys right there, but the mm. one in the middle, he had the pistol and two dudes on the side. You could tell mm. them, like, let's go. So as soon as I opened the door, all of us was really surprised mm. looking at each other. So I'm looking at him, I look down at his pistol. So we looking at each other, so I'm standing, so I'm setting myself up for the fall back and just start busting. Mm. That, you know, that's my mentality. So he don't get down. So as soon as I go back to get the busting, bam, he, man, he called me, I don't know how he called Ooh. me like that. And he shot you in the head. Man, right here. Yeah, man. I see that, man. I fell down the ground. I, like, Ooh. my gun, I scrolled it. I guess I scrolled the clip out. He shot me. I don't know how, but somehow yeah. I, I released the clip. You know right. what I'm saying? I couldn't bang in nothing like that. So I never lost my consciousness, though. You know? They got me to the hospital. And, 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 and you drove from the hospital from Indiana to Michigan. Yeah, the next day, um, me, my mama, my cousin Gene, my cousin Well, I was going to the hospital. No, no, we was at the hospital. Okay, okay. You know, okay. we left the hospital. Okay. We left from Indianapolis because it happened in Anderson. They flew me to uh, Nap. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They flew I'm, talking, okay. I'm so conscious, though. I never passed out. I'm talking about I'm on the passenger seat now. Like, mm. I'm trying to see what's going on. I got right. to lift up the visor and see right. what damage this yeah, dude did to me. Right. Something like, because I rolled the bullet out because it didn't go oh. all the way in. Oh, yeah. When I was sitting down there on the ground, like blood yeah. just coming out, so I'm just doing like this, trying to get it off my face. Yeah. It was just like right here. It didn't go all the way in. It I just wiped it, it off. Yeah, the bully was there. Yeah, the police had got there, but we was gone when they got there. They had the right. DNA thing. Yep, I wiped it off. Uh, I mean, just wiping the blood right. off and wiped the bullet off. Didn't lose consciousness. Mm -hmm. So and and, and 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 you have no type of no type of effects mm -hmm. from it, man. Mm -hmm. Like nothing but the scar. Just the scar. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still think the way, you know, I did, you know, mm -hmm. no type of side effects, nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah, my grace, that's when I got that blessed after mm -hmm. I was like, you know, even though I don't, you know, mm -hmm. anybody tell you to know me, I've never been the type of cat to start stuff. I, that ain't mm -hmm. I hate bullies. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, growing up, right. I used to bully the bully. Mm -hmm. You say it's your own thing. Right. I used to bully the bully. You know, right. anytime I see somebody doing a little pressure, I'm going to try to find my way to start a false fight with them. You know right. what I'm saying? Just to shut that down with yeah. you doing, you know? Right. So I hate all the hate bullets. bullets so I never yeah. carry myself like that. Never. Right. You know? And um, I know that Dane was your boy. You know what I'm saying? And man, you know, he got killed. You know? Hurt me to my heart. What it, that was at the club, right? Yeah, you know guys just shooting in the club. What they trying to you shoot know. him, you know? And um, shooting at each other. It's like, 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 you know, and you try to appease everybody as security at that door. Mm -hmm. You know, and you's, you've been a man of many parties. You know, have you had to do security at your own party before? I mean, well, I wouldn't say like security, but no, I'm talking about holding the dough down. Like, do you know what it's like to hold that dough down? No, because when I go to that dough, everybody gonna want to go in free, so mm -hmm. they don't want me at the dough. So you don't know about all the, the personalities, the, oh, yeah. the, the 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 different attitudes, yeah. the animosity. Yeah, now, I don't work the door, but it's not in my party. No, right. I, no, I don't work the door a few times, but right. not on my party because if I do a party right. and the homeboy come through, right. he goes he gonna want to get in free. So if I ain't at the dough, whoever working the right. dough. They gonna charge everybody, you know. Exactly. So when I'm at the door, that's what I think. Hey, everybody wanna get in free, so I stay away from that door. But yeah. at I've done the door, like you said, it's it's crazy, bro. 
They don't talk too crazy. You get to search them, somebody might, well, nobody around Saginaw don't say nothing. Like I said, we're not out of town. Mm -hmm. If I'm such a nigga in Saginaw, they ain't gonna say nothing. They ain't let it go. Right. But, you know, you out of town, niggas don't know you. They gonna say slick stuff. We didn't say right. slick stuff. I just, you know, had somebody search me up, you know, come on, right, right. my yeah. leg, and I just said something slick, you know? Yeah. Like, damn, yeah, what mm -hmm. you doing, you know? But he was doing his job. Job, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, you know, that's a that's a that's a that's a tough business. Tough. That's a, I mean, not a tough business. That's a tough job, man. You know that yeah, duty, that duty, that duty right there, man. Playing security at them lounge doors, them club doors, man. Them are the roughest, toughest, and yes. man, I'm you talking. To come about, back in and start shooting at the front door. You know they didn't do that. Man, I man, I'd have seen that so much. Uh, yeah. What was that lounge on Genesee? Uh, uh. The uh, fight, the hip -hop, hip -hop. Hip -hop. Oh man, that's like I, nobody went that spot. That's man. like one of the worst <laughs> spots, bro. We almost the same thing. Man, what else that's I'm it. talking about, man? It was crazy. Not you know that security time. is a is a it's a it's a it's a death defying job. Yes, yes you know. Is. So what 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 do you think, man? It's gonna take, man, to be at the door to, you know, because you as a party promoter, you as a as a you know, a man of entertainment. Like being at that though, how can we appease everybody that's coming in? You know, we got the belligerent ones, we got ones that been drinking, and then you got all these people at the door. You know, some don't want to agree with the price. Mm -hmm. You know, some want to bring this in, some want to do this, some you got all these different people. You know, and as you as a as a as a party promoter throwing these parties, man. How do you how do you satisfy everybody's want, need, and personality when you throw these parties? See me, that's how I do. Everybody know that how I do. I would prefer to have a hall. If I do a party, I don't like doing it in no bar mm -hmm. where my people got to keep going up there and buying their drinks. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I would rather have a hall where you could pay the mission to get in and it be BYOB. Mm -hmm. That's how I used to always do my parties, BYOB, mm -hmm. and that is satisfying. You know, okay, you just pay $15 to get on in and you bring your own drink. So mm -hmm. everybody happy now. They have to keep mm -hmm. spending money. You know, mm -hmm. but when I do do it at a bar, hey, I just, I just tell them the rules, you know. Yeah. You're going to come in at Yank. Yeah. If it's the price, this is what it is. You're going to come in. Because I don't get to argue with you. I just yeah. tell them, okay, don't come in. Yeah. That's all I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Now, yeah. if you keep on coming back, now we're going to argue. But I'm going to tell you, I ain't, oh, yeah. you. No, nah. okay, well, this is yeah. what it is, bro. Okay, if you don't want to come in, don't come in. Or sister, right. don't come in. But this is what it is. All right. And like I say, um, I want to just, I want to, because we're going to get to his party promoting, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, but I don't want to, I don't want to lose track right quick. Because like I say, man, the man been through a lot of adversity. You know, like I say, anybody out there that's going through adversity, you could take a page out, out, of, out, of, out, of, out of Skull Book. Because like I say, he's, he's, a, he's been able to overcome it all. You know, adversity's tried to defeat him. But instead, he reversed it and defeated it, you know. And um, he lost a brother, you know. You lost your brother. Your brother was shot and killed. That's something else. That's some some else. Me and you got in common, mm -hmm. you know. My brother, my brother was shot and killed. You know. I think you know. You know about that. Mm -hmm. But you know. But today, man, we want to hear a little bit about about that man. And you know, where was you at at the time? How it affect you? And you know, how, how 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 did you take the news, man? And, and what age was you, you know, when that incident occurred? I was, uh, my brother, this was the day before his birthday, June 27th, uh, 1991. So I was, uh, I was locked up already for, um, for four um, tip murders. So when I got the news, I'm in jail, you know what I'm saying? I'm, they come to my cell and told me, you know what I'm saying? And she, you know, that was the worst pain I felt in my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even though I lost Maniac and Curb, you know, but I mean, well, I lost Maniac by that time. That was my first friend I lost. So, that pain, if I would have been locked up, it probably would have been, I don't know, I, I think that was God, really. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because I ended up beating my case. Yeah. I got, I'm going to get 20 years at least. I'd be found guilty of four 10 murders. Another adversity yeah, that yeah, beat. Yeah, yeah, four or 10 yeah. murders. So I had to go to my brother's funeral from the county jail. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They cuffed up, woo woo. You know, so my whole mentality is steady getting. I'm, it's just making. It's just making me more crazy. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? 
you know, um, that my whole thing is just, I was going to, whoever did that to my brother, I was going right. to do something hey, to him, yeah. bro, period. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Period, you know? Yeah. And like I said, I didn't have the whole story together. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said, God put me up in there, keep me up in there, and then going to let me go through that with my brother, and then expose what happened. So when I do come back out, I'm going to have my mind frame different, mm -hmm. you know, which it was, you know, because after I found out the real, okay, now I ain't coming home on that, you know. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if I'd have been out when it happened, you know, before we getting all the, the right news together, I, I would have did something, you know. Mm -hmm. I know I wouldn't have, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, what just kind of strayed you away, man, from, you know, the anger, the depression, of your brother, man, as to where you didn't go that route, man, and just, you know. Because I really found out the truth, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. I'm going to be cool, you know. And then mm -hmm. I just beat this case, so I'm really trying to chill, mm -hmm. but, I mean, every time you turn around, you know, every few years or so often I get caught up. Because all I got are my regular pistol cases, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Being sawed right. and stabbed yeah. and all that <laughs> stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That just... I kept a pistol on, mm -hmm. you know, so that's all I got on my record. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just all pistol cases. And then and then you you had to you had to what we call a vacation. <laughs> yeah. You had to take a vacation, you know, you was in the feds for a while. Yeah, yeah. You know? I went the first time I went, um they got me um in ninety two, my first pistol case. They uh put me in the tri cap. And then I violated that. You know, because Curly ended up getting killed on my case. Mm -hmm. you know, that's the first time I went to the joint. Um, Cassie came over where we was at. And we leaving and we ended up getting into a shootout. And um, Curly ended up getting killed, you know, in the middle of that. So I'm steady lying. When the police mm -hmm. come, they ask what happened since some cats come through shooting. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that somebody had already told me I was shooting too. So when they come back and ask me again, I'm steady lying. Can't shoot, you know, because I'm on probation. It's like, can't mm -hmm. tell Even if I wasn't on probation, I ain't finna tell him that. So he wasn't talking about, yeah, Disco, they already put the 38 in your hand. <laughs> he told me what kind of gun I got. I was like, man, I said, okay, man. I said, they was shooting at us first. Right. So I'm, I'm busting back. Right. Like, okay, man, that, that's what it is. Soon as my PO <laughs> went to state. Man, she violated me about three it days is. later. Yes. Gave me 28 months just for the violations. So I got to come back for the pistol. Die too. So you mm. end up getting 40 months, but they ran together. So yeah. like three and a half. Yeah. So, so, so paint us a picture, man, of, of what your day looked like when you were inside that fed joint during time. You know, you, you know, you can't, you ain't throwing no more parties. You know, your significant other not with you, you know. You 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 know you ain't got no more materialistic things, mm -hmm. you know. You away from your love on us. So like, you know, being in that in that realm of life. Explain to us what paint a picture for us of what your days looked like in there. Man, I. Uh, like what was you? How, what did you do? What was your routine to 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 to, to uh, pass time in there? Got up in the morning. Um, I worked in the first shift, mm -hmm. so I do my little job, go work out, um, see, eat, watch TV, start it all over again. Mm -hmm. Same thing, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I was just one of the fortunate guys that. I had a good supporting team, so mm -hmm. anytime I've been locked up, it was easy for me as far as like financially. You know, mentally is where it gets you at. You know, mm -hmm. financially, yeah, nigga, you want to be home with your people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You want to be home with your kids. Yeah. You want to be home with your girl. Yeah, you know? all that. Right. You know? I just been fortunate to not end up getting a lot of time. You mm -hmm. know, the first time I got three and a half. The next time I went back, I just got two flat from mm -hmm. five. And the next time I just went back, I got three years. So, mm -hmm. you know, I was so, fortunate. Right. So, and I know, like, you know, you being a, you know, you having a harmonious personality, man. You being a people person. I know you met a lot of people in there, man. Got, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Became friends with a lot of guys in there, man. Yeah. Like, 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 
how much impact did you have on a lot of them guys in there, man, that kind of like bumped into you? <clears throat> and man, you can be like a beacon of light for them. Man, I can tell you like this. It's about six guys I still communicate that I was locked up with that didn't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I brought a big impact on them. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. they just feel like, you know, I'm Y'all still kid. together today? Still, still holler them cats. I call them cats any day. Okay, I've been yeah. out there in Detroit or whatever. Let's go mm -hmm. eat lunch or whatever. Yeah, so yeah, you got to keep in contact with people, you know, good mm -hmm. people anyway. Mm -hmm. Trying to do no connect, right. and you then know? you had the time. You had time to kind of like you know grow Flat, up a little yeah. bit, kind of like yeah. you know what I'm saying, like put life in perspective, mm -hmm. organize a little better. You know, kind of like you know clean up a lot of things that I was doing that was dirtying up my life. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So how did that? How did that transition go in there, man? Like you know, because when we in there, all we do is reflect on. We flecked on our life a million times in that mud. You know what I'm saying? Sit back every day. When you're in prison, every day you reflect on your life a million times, million times. Then you look at that photo, man. You just wanted to see that that one captured moment. Right. You know, everybody wanted to see pictures of themselves when they was in the world. I was like, my girl send me pictures all the time. Yeah. You know how cats just be talking about what they yeah, did. Yeah. Show me some pictures. Pictures, yeah. You tell me, show me yeah. some pictures. Because in the joint, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no pictures. We can't see no, what you was doing. You just talking. You just talking. You know what I'm you saying? Just talking. Come on now. You know, you, yeah. you ain't nobody yeah, sending you no pictures. pictures. Yeah, yeah. You ain't getting no visitors. <laughs> and you ain't getting no conversation. Yeah, what was you doing out there? Yeah, yeah, you been lying. You was getting high. Yeah, you been lying to me all this time. Yeah, a lot of guys just sit up there and lie, 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 man. You know what I'm saying? But um, <laughs> at the end of the day, man, you had a lot of, lot of, lot of characters in there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, it's some characters. You know, and you know, being in that closed environment, you know, you get to see and you get to read people a lot better. Cause y'all like this mm -hmm. all the Every time, day. you know. It ain't like Every being day. in the world where you right. spread out yeah. driving yeah. cars yeah. and yeah. different, yeah. Uh, sit, you know, out this and that and yeah. all like this. Every you, day, you know what I'm saying. I see what you do every day. Yeah, you know, so it helps your it, it helps your personality on to be able to read people, see past a lot of bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I'm a you know, people reader too. You know what I'm saying. I can sit up here and read. That's why I be like, people be said telling me stuff. I be sitting up here like. You actually think I believe that? You know, I'll be like, damn. You <laughs> I done seen how old that. I am. Right. right. I'm not no 17. <laughs> man, I done heard everything before. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be like, mm -hmm. man, just keep it real with me, man. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we're gonna we're gonna move on a little further, man. Um, you know, he had a, a, a very adversarial, sentimental, most hurtful most painful, most egregious thing that happened in his life, man. You know, I got three daughters, one son, you know. This man lost his daughter, you know, at a party, you know. And, you know, my heart goes out to him, man, because like I say, you know, that type of pain, man, no no father shot the no father or mother shot the or family member, whatever shot the experience that, you know. And, you know, I wanna to talk to him a little bit about that um that adversity that happened in his life. And what can we do to try to try to try to change things up a little bit to kinda of like prevent prevent those things from happening. And we want to just get his take on that, you know, so, um, you know, just condolences to your daughter, you know, it's condolences that. to you, man. And, you know, tell us a little bit about that, man, and talk to us a little bit about that, man. And, you know, because I know that was a lot for you. That's a lot for any father to take. Yeah, yeah I'm still yeah. dealing with that. It's, it's, it's rough, you know, it's real sensitive, you know. Like with my brother, you know, that was the most pain I ever felt. When he passed away, I didn't think I would ever, ever feel nothing like that again, ever. Until my daughter passed, you know, and I was like, man, you know, and I both of them passed, you know, it was, yeah, it was just didn't, didn't sit right with me. You know what I'm saying? Especially my baby girl, because come on, man, she didn't, she didn't deserve that. 
She didn't deserve that at all, you know? And she was killed at a block party. Yeah, this this sucker. This sucker breaking up her fighting. This fool got uh this fool got what he got? One in the chamber. You breaking up females and then go off and shoot my daughter. Come on, man. You could put that down and broke that up. You know what I'm saying? You having a dangerous ass weapon around girls. Come on, man. Ain't nothing girls fight, bro. Ain't no dudes fight, so you should never had that, you know. So yeah, that's just yeah, man. I'm missing my baby, bro. And and this go, it's like, man, what I'm seeing, man, is a lot of these, like, you know, the the alcohol, the guns, and young ages, young age people don't mix, man. Not at all. Not with all these Not saying older people, but you know, it's just a more it's just more rapid, you know, at, at you know, with the young people. So we, we just wanna talk to the young people for a minute, man. Like like this, like, you know, they got we got these block parties, man, these shootings, these, you know, and, and, and we don't want to take our kids' freedom away. Right. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to take our kids' freedom away. Keep like, we, uh, yeah, yeah, keep them closeted in. Like, we not, you know, we not approving of you going here or there. We don't want you to have fun. But in the same sense, we just trying to keep you yeah, safe. Keep you safe. My kids never like, I was one of those parents that my kids didn't go over nobody house to spend a night with their friends' house. That's how protective I was of my kids. Mm -hmm. If anything, y'all can spend night over here, but they let my kids go spend night mm -hmm. with nobody house, especially if they weren't related to us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, that's, I don't know, that's just how I always been, you know. You just gotta keep them kids up under you, you know. Mm -hmm. But like you said, you don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? Seems like you got shackles on them, so you just gotta trust and pray. Mm -hmm. That's all you gotta do, bro. Just pray when they go out there, man. They come back home, you know. Mm -hmm. That's the worst news I could have got, bro. You know what I'm saying? I could, worst news I could have got, man. Mm -hmm. I just, man, yeah. Mm -hmm. What, what, what you think? You know, what, what do you think, man? That it's gonna take, man, for to put these guns down. You know, and I want to touch on both sides, like, you know. Because we got a lot of guys out here that's beefing and that need to have it. Mm -hmm. See, my thing is, I mean, if you can go move, go move. You know what I'm saying? If you can go move and make your life better, go move. Ain't no sense of staying here and up getting killed. If they got that bad, if it's that bad, just go on and move. Mm -hmm. It's just going to move. I ain't nothing wrong with that. You can set up, set up somewhere else. What if I don't have no? What if I don't have no? But what if I don't have no family member out of state or nowhere? I just I'm not, I'm not in a position where I can't go move. I just gotta stay right here. That's gonna be rough. That's gonna be rough. Now you're gonna have to make a decision. Do you still want to do this game banging, or you want somebody to go to you to these people and tell them, hey, I'm done with it. You know what I'm saying? Unless you just want to just stay out here. You know what I'm saying? Doing dumb shit, man. I mean. I can only give you a little advice, you know, pour a little something on you, you know, it's up to you to take it, you know. Mm -hmm. I can tell these cats, you know, hey, man, I ain't with it. I done did my little thing, I done did, and I'm out the way. Mm -hmm. I'm out the way, I ain't trying to do none of that gang banging, but mm -hmm. at the same time, I'm still a man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I don't, never let you disrespect me or nothing. Nah, yeah. That, ain't, that ain't never happened mm -hmm. in life. That's mm -hmm. why I carry myself to where I do. I mm -hmm. respect for everybody smile, what's up, what's up, mm -hmm. you know, so mm -hmm. that way, you know, everything to stay easy. So if you ever have beef with me, that's on you. That's on because I'm not that type of nigga. I ain't mm -hmm. never been that type of cat. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't hate on nobody. I don't do mm -hmm. that. No, I want to be everything to be lovely. Right. And 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 it's like, okay, you know, we got we got because back in the day when y'all was doing y'all thing, when y'all was thugging or whatever, you know, we had size of towns. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We had. North side, south side, east side, you know, or whatever, you know, Burst Street or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like now everything is broke down in sections, zones. Now it's it, it's, it's it's more people that's in it. Everybody involved in it. You got the. the Fem not saying that females wasn't involved in it back then, but you got a more right, plethora right, now. Right, like you got abundance yeah. now. Yeah. You know, the community is large. Mm -hmm. The gang the gang community is large. It's like yeah. I heard I heard somebody the other day called a mama bro. 
that kills me with that bro stuff, man. It kills me with that. My dog called me that one time and said, don't play with me. They call me that no more. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? saying? I said, that call, don't, don't play with me because he was on some playful stuff. Dog. Don't play with me. I don't like that. You know. They call me your bro. And, and and that's the thing, right, with, with, with the kids, right? That's why I tell a lot of parents, you can't be their friend. No. You got to be a parent. You can't be, you can't smoke weed with them. You can't drink with them. You can't be hanging out no. with them. You can't be going, no, no. hanging with their friends. Kids. These kids. Mm -hmm. When you try to grow, you grow, grow. Okay, that's something totally different. You know what I'm saying? But I done seen them do it with the little 15, 16, 17, 18. Man, no kids. You acting like that's your sister or something. Ain't your you sister. gotta have a daughter. daughter. So then, what, what happens is, okay, now I'm hanging out with you. You hanging out with me and my friends smoking weed. I'm hanging out with you and your friends smoking weed. We drinking, going out. So now, when it's time for me to discipline you, you to did something, or I need for you to listen to me. Then not a child ain't listening. Not a child not being receptive of what's being. Not gonna be. She's not gonna be. Gave him too much rope, you know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta establish that from day one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm the parent. I'm the parent, you the child. Yeah, a lot of people they don't establish that, and the next thing you know, the kid disrespect them so crazy. I'll be saying that, I'll be like, man, oh, man, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. It's hurt me to my heart to see kids talk to their parents like that. Cause me and my kids, we didn't get down like that. Mm -hmm. There was too much respect, you know. Mm -hmm. Me and my kids more closer to me than they is with their mother. Oh, you know right. what I'm saying? So that's how me and my kids. What you know. think, man? What, what, what do you think? What do you think? All the disrespect, man, and all the all the all the belittling of the adults by these kids come from. You know, we know. I mean, we all you know know that you know the culture with the with the gangster rap and everything. That's more impactful than anything. It come down to the parents, bro. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. As long as you own your kids and keep them respectful. Man, I'm talking my son for be 21. My son don't gang bang, none of that. You know, I don't play that. I was locked up. He said he took a picture throwing up the phone. So how how you keep him from that? I be on his head. Because you know I because they know. My kids mm -hmm. know I'm the nicest dude, but I don't play. You know so what, what you say about so what you say about niggas that's 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 gang banging with their sons? That they some idiots. They some idiots. Any nigga that would right. allow their son to be called the little him, you know what I'm saying? Right. I don't, my, my friends call my, they might say it like that, little this, but they don't say it like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like right. something, I ain't going to mention that these other dudes who be doing the stuff with their right. kids, but me and my son will never do that right. together, you know? So I'm keep him away from that because right. I know what I went through. You ain't going to be as lucky as I, right. I, I, I got luck. I mean, I ain't going to say right. like I'm blessed. Right. Not too many people gonna make it like that, but you might not even make it on your first one. I don't know, so I'm gonna keep my son away from right. that, you know? I try to keep my daughter away from that, because she... And then you're pulling your son into it, because... And then your son kind of really don't know your history. Right. They don't know their daddy's exactly. history and what they did. And then mm -hmm. here it is, Pop's putting the thing, you know, so he... So Pop's won't catch a case. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you, you know, son ain't really never had a case right. no more. We can get you probation right. or whatever you get exactly. caught with it. So I need exactly. you, you, I ain't got no license, so I gotta have my son to drive right. me around and we finna, you know what I'm saying? I can't put my son in none, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Right. We don't play that. I make sure he wasn't doing no game thing. That's mm -hmm. just, yeah, that would drive me crazy, man. I lost my son too, you mm -hmm. know? And I know you're trying to hold on, man, to everything left that you got. Yeah. You know, losing your brother, you know, losing your daughter, man, almost losing your life on mm -hmm. four different occasions. No, five different occasions. Mm -hmm. Numerous know. homeboys, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was close. You know, mm -hmm. close to me, man. Like I said, I was there for two of them, you know, mm -hmm. around two of them, so it was crazy. You know? Right. So it just makes me want to just do better. You know? Right. And, 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 and one of the ways you do better is by throwing them bomb ass parties. Yeah. <laughs> you know, man, listen, time. if you ain't been to a disco party, you ain't been to a party, no. man. You ain't you ain't from Saginaw if you ain't been to a disco party, man. Everybody in the city, man, how you get everybody in the city? Man, how long you been throwing parties? <laughs> Probably about 10th grade. I'm like Foxy House on 14th, probably 10th grade. 
Right. What gave you what gave you the 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 knack, man, to just say, man, I'm finna throw a party. Going over to uh to some of them house parties that they had, like the twin Big Mac and Lil Mac, they had some of like the coldest parties back mm -hmm. then. So, you know, seeing them doing it, okay, I'm gonna do me some parties too. Yeah. You know? <laughs> just you know, you just get enjoyment mm -hmm. of seeing everybody having a good time. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just enjoyment. Right. They tell you, oh man, I had a good time. They just make you feel good, mm -hmm. you know. Because every time I have a party, there don't be no mess. Man, I'd have been to plenty of your parties and ain't never yeah, been that mess, no, man. It's just no. been a good time, mm -hmm. you know, classy, you know, elegant. Yeah, yeah. We try to keep it like that, you know, then we make sure, like, people, we walk them to their car. Mm -hmm. I know certain people, then they right. just feel comfortable with mm -hmm. that, you know. They know, okay, we can come down here, and ain't going to be no BS. Mm -hmm. Ain't no shooting, ain't no fight. We just want to have a good time, and we'll leave it there. And mm -hmm. Wait on the next one, you know. Right. Yeah, so, and you just had a birthday, just throw the party, your birthday party, you nice. know, that was, that was a classic, yeah, that was nice. nice, you know what I'm saying, um, so like, when you, when you, when you throw these parties, man, um, do you, is it, is it anything next for you, like, you know, with the parties, you got something coming up, or? Well, I, I just slowed down a lot. Yeah. yeah, since I didn't, you know, like after I lost my daughter, it just, I don't know, I just don't like have a desire to really right. yeah, to go yeah. out, you know, unless somebody I'm really close with, like I just mm -hmm. want to just go out tonight just to be mm -hmm. going out. It got to be somebody really close to having something, because other than that, she would be in my house. Right. You know what I'm saying? We have more fun in my yeah. crib, so that way we ain't going to be into no trouble. Right. Everybody come over my house, we play cards, do all that, you know, right. but we still having a good time, you know? Yeah. And you and you always exude good energy, man. Anytime you know people around you is festive. Got got to you because know? people don't want. You. That's why a person never. They always say you stay the same, and I will. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. Even if I'm mad at somebody else, mm -hmm. I, I might just got off the phone arguing with my girl or something. As soon as I walk up to you, I'm smiling. You don't know what yeah. happened because that's just you how I am. Like, I don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I don't take stuff out on people. Never, never have in my life, and that's why people. Hold me in such high esteem like mm -hmm. they do. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Not you know try to toot my own horn and like that, but that's just the person I am. That's the person I always will be. You know, right. I don't. I'm not with the. I don't fight none of the homies. Yeah. I don't let people fight around yeah. me. No, nah, you can't fight around me. I don't. I don't care. Yeah. You yeah, fight exactly. around me. Period. Yeah, exactly. I don't. That's you know, just how I carry myself. I just treat everybody with respect. You know, uh -huh. no matter what. I ain't the type of play a cat like a flunky. Mm -hmm. I've never did that. Right. I'm going to treat you just like me. Equal. I'm going right. to treat you just yeah. like me. Whether you deserve it or not. No, I don't. I'm going to treat you just like me. Yeah. Do yeah. I've had people send me money and stuff. You know, yeah. when I was locked up, I, money, I didn't even expect, you know, people right. wrote me and sent me money letter. Man, I'm just sending you money because you always was the same. You know, right. I love you. Just a good, a good person. Yeah. yeah. Just being good, that's the stuff that happened. You know what I'm saying? People get to looking on out for you. Right. You know, just you universe know. just start taking care yeah. of you. Just start getting you things that unexpected things that you ain't know was coming. Yeah. Did you uh you wake up and see the news today? Did you did you about see the about dude, the guy about the, the guy Tyree in Memphis? I heard about it. I didn't see it, but everybody been telling me about it. Yeah, man. What you you know? And then we got five black police man. officers that then killed the black guy. I don't understand that, man. I don't understand that. I really don't understand that. So now here it is, you got white police officers killing unarmed black men. Mm -hmm. Now you got yes, black blacks, police man. officers killing unarmed black men. Can't win, bro. And, you know, all the white police officers get off, right? Mm -hmm. And we know these five black finna what? No, they finna get popped. They, they finna, finna get popped. Pop. And it's, pop. like, it's, like, it's like blatant racism in our face, but as a community and as black police, you can't put us as black people in that situation when we got to turn our back on you for what right. you done did to our right. own, your own. Right. You know what I'm saying? You see, there's some cities, they talking about defunding the police department and all that stuff, man. It's crazy. Man, it's crazy. You know, but um, I want to get your thoughts on, you know, if you could paint a picture of the city of Saginaw, man, and the way it should look today, how would it look? I've been trying to think of a way to clean it up, bro, but sh I can't. You know what I'm saying? Because so we're steady things. doing, yeah, yeah, we're steady doing stuff, bro, that we never did. You know, 
more females and stuff are dying from guys doing what they do and all that, man. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, it's like guys ain't going by the rules that, you know, we went by when we was growing up. And now, you know, you see with your girl and your mama, they still going to do something mm-hmm. to you. I wouldn't dare see a guy with his mama. I wouldn't dare think about it because I think about karma. Right. I'm one of those karma dudes. Right. That's why I don't steal or nothing right. like that. Or, right. you know, I don't do none of that because I seriously believe in karma, you right. know? So I wouldn't do that. So you think, what 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 do you think that lack of structure, lack of order, that lack of of of, of of uh, just more having more values. No big homies to talk to them though, really. Because these guys are doing stuff on their own. They ain't got nobody talking to them. So like, hey, you don't do that. You don't shoot up this house. Or you don't do that because it's going to come back on you. You know, right. they ain't got nobody talking to them. They just let them do what they want. And a lot of them put battery packs in them, you know, right. and make them do that stuff. Right. You know? Yeah, that's why I, I, man, I try to talk to the youth, you know, but it's like, some of them is just so far gone. They looking at these videos and thinking, you know, oh, bro, it's thinking they live in the same life. Yeah. Not, but as soon as you get popped up, you get in trouble. Mm-hmm. You're going to wish you never did it, but it's too late. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm talking about every time I got yeah. in trouble, I'd be like, man, I, sh- I wish mm-hmm. I would have did this. I shouldn't have did mm-hmm. that. You know, it's too late. And then only take, what, 30 seconds? Man, not even that. 30 seconds. Not even that. Not even yes, that. Not yeah. Man, boom. That's why I tell cats, man. And then, man. and then, when you get in that, when you get in that penitentiary, when you get in that 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 incarcerated environment, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you, you want to redo home. over. You, you want to redo day. over a million yeah, times. Yeah. You want to yeah. call home every day, blowing up people's mm-hmm. phone and all that, man. No, bro, you put yourself mm-hmm. in that, man. Mm-hmm. You put yourself in that situation. Mm-hmm. You know. And you know, it, you know, a lot of. A lot of people ain't taking accountability these days. You know what I'm saying? I, that's why I keep a lot of friends around me who hold me accountable mm-hmm. to things. You know, right. I keep friends above me to. around. Mm-hmm. You know, because it it, it make me better. Yeah. You know, like you know, because we gotta have some good friends got around to. us that's keeping no us yes forward man. thinking. No yes man. And even though you as a party promoter, you know, a person to get friends mixed up as to where. You know, friends that's always dragging me out, you know, versus mm-hmm. f- friends that's helping me go in a direction, helping right. me advance. Right, in life. You know, in life. Yeah. And it's like, when friends stay helping, dragging me out, dragging me out that every weekend, weekend dragging yeah, me out weekend. every weekend. So then I look up, my life looked like nothing. You know, mm-hmm. I done neglected all kind of skills. I neglected opportunities that mm-hmm. came my way. I'm always kind of like, come on, always partying. I'm always nah, out. That's why I can't, I can't party because, first mm-hmm. of all, too much money for mm-hmm. one. You know what I'm saying? I remember I tried to party on my birthday. I tried to party for the whole month. Yeah, I, I, party, I party, I party, I party three days straight. I said, mm-hmm. man, yeah, man I ain't like nowhere, nowhere, nowhere like I can't do that. I can't do and it. I ain't gonna say three days straight. Mm-hmm. It was three days every other day. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of people do it. Man, man that day that I go a week, man. Oh, sh- I'm doing that day. You gonna wait that day. You gonna be exhausted. Listen, I only be need one good party. Probably yeah. really out the month. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Give me one. Yeah. Give that's me one. I get yeah. out of hand. Yeah. You know, yeah. feel one some. Month, I'll be feel some energy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just yeah. some people. You know, all positive stuff. I ain't yeah. going to. You know, no young party. Nah, I'm going to. The, I know yeah. the party I'm gonna go to. Yeah. And, and when I'm at the party, bro, she, like we was at uh, the one spot about a month ago. They come telling me, yeah, yeah. man, the guy got the good. Oh, let's go. Let's go. And yeah, my crew, I'm round them up. Let's go. Any type of, mm. I see anything that look like yeah. it's ball. Nah, we got them. And then I ain't about being no bitch. And oh, I ain't about no. being no mm-hmm. hoe. No. It's just about being safe and yeah. securing your people and getting the fuck on before something pop up. Because I know I am. So, you know what I'm saying? I, right. I mean, they're being right back into right. it. So that's what I'm and trying you to do. Learn, and you didn't learn a lesson yeah. from that when you was 18 yeah. by getting shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take it, bro. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So you know your attitude, and you know what you're going to So ground up the gang. We out of here to the next spot. You know, and and a lot of people got to think like that. You know, know, try to see something coming before it even happens. You know, because life's dangerous right Mm -hmm. now, man. We living in a a real dangerous time right now. 
Yeah. You know, especially look at look at look at how takeoff got killed. You look at the people. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like you know, and, 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 and you know, just the fact that how your daughter was taken. You know what I'm saying? Like my brother was taken. You know what I'm saying? It just seemed like man, we living in the land of the dying right now. We are. We never seen this many deaths before. Last that week was, I went to three funerals in two days. It would have been four. If the other one would have been at a different time, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because I had to go to wow. one, because both of them the same time. Then I went to Freedom on the front of which hers was at uh, two o'clock, so I was able to make. And it I and I just went to one. Mm -hmm. My auntie, you know, yeah. it's just you know. So you gotta live, man, and you I gotta mean. enjoy your life. You gotta be thankful and be be thankful for the position that you is, right. and not take it for granted. Right. Exactly. You know. Exactly. You know. I know you wake up every day, and I know you take your position into man. consideration, you man. You know. Because up, it was, like, damn, thank you, thank you, I'm up. Right, you know what I'm saying I can make whatever happen. Yeah. Long as you let me get it, yeah, yeah, make something happen. <laughs> Can't make it. I'll wake up. That's what, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so at the end of the day, man, it's just about turning adversity into a friend and being mm -hmm. able to defeat it. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes adversity can come to you. Just continuously, continuously, mm -hmm. continuously. And what you have to do is find a way to turn adversity around mm -hmm. and make it into a friend. Because if you don't, yeah. man, if you don't, you, don't, you ain't no telling what's going to happen, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you got to mm -hmm. make the right decision. I mean, I'll be telling people it ain't that hard. Mm -hmm. so it's not that hard. You just say, I ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? They ain't that hard. Yeah. They rats with acting like it's a big decision you gotta make. Nah, okay, no, nah, no. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna do it. Let me go to the next, you know. Mm -hmm. That's how I do, man. I'm anytime I see something, bro, that's look negative to me, I take off. Me and my crew, we take off, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not with that. Yeah, and it's like I say, it's just about keeping yourself safe because mm -hmm. things too chaotic and it and it can things can spiral out of control sure too quick. Sure will. So you know, I end up like, and that's why it's so it's so important, man, to like move calculated. It's so important, man, to kind of like, you know, be careful of the surroundings and the places you you mm -hmm. you place yourself at. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because it can be, you know, it it, it ain't the people who house you going over or who event you attending, right. but the people they may they bring in or they it. invite. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They ain't got nothing to do with it. It's the other people that's coming, right? You know? Right. They be the gracious hosts that they want to, but one of them right. come and just want to act a fool. Oh, mm -hmm. So we got to move calculated out yeah. there, man. You know what I'm saying? So we keep ourselves safe. Yeah, we got yeah. to, bro. If we want to stay out here, yeah, man, I ain't mm -hmm. shoot. I mean, I, you ain't going to catch me riding to the party with a pistol because these other niggas got No, I ain't into it nobody, so I didn't even take no pistol to nobody, mm -hmm. you know? I ain't and even I, put myself in that situation. Man, they going to try yeah. to... We might get pulled over we tonight. Might get pulled over. <laughs> Here might I am going back over. to the joint again. Yeah. Just by yeah. me, yeah. I'm up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't finna keep getting me up like that. Catch me up. Every time they catch me up, it be some lucky stuff. You know? mm -hmm. Every time I went to the joint, I ain't gonna say, kind of wasn't my fault. You know what I'm saying? It was damn near somebody else's fault every time. Because mm -hmm. last time I just went to the joint, they got me by accident. Mm -hmm. They come to my house. I had just moved there a month ago. They came to my house doing a warm sweep. They looking for the person that lived there before me. Right. My dumb ass got some weed right there. I opened up the door so fast, bro. I didn't even know what the hell was going on. I didn't see the damn weed right there. I had an ounce of weed I just bought. Damn. So they let them come in my house. And yep, they found five pistols. Yep, so they banged me up for mm -hmm. that. And then the time before that, mm -hmm. I'm right. I just left my crib. We're going to go to the limelight. But we stopped at the liquor bag. I see all the police up there. I'm going to figure out what the police there for. So I get my man uh, money. Okay, you go, it's two cars. You go get the drink. We finna head up out of here. I ain't feeling these police. Mm -hmm. Then one of them hit my car, like, with that big old light from across the parking lot. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering why they did it. Mm -hmm. Not knowing, it was just a shootout in a blue truck. Damn. I'm in a blue truck. I'm an explorer, mm. but it was a pathfinder or something. I can't remember what it was, but it was. So I'm telling them, no, that we just came from this way. The shooting you said on Hopper Drive, the guy was like, you're mm. lying. Caught me with a pistol in the air. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, wasn't my fault, but, but it was man. my fault because I had it. You well, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You and you know what? Up. One thing about that pistol, 
When the police get behind you, that mother like a refrigerator in your car when you had that on you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm talking about. And they, <laughs> it wasn't no running, nothing like that because they already looking for the truck. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm just in the wrong place. Man, the mothers came like five police out of nowhere. I didn't understand. I still didn't understand. I'm like, what is they doing? Right. Until so they went to tell us, they was like, nah. That mother like the fridge. You can't hide that mother have, probably. You what day, what day, you can't put you put that mother, push that mother up under the seat. Right, they put it in the glove compartment. Yeah, you know, yeah, man, yeah. can't hide that. Can't that mother like a refrigerator yeah, in the you car. Stash box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't promoting the stash box. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no yeah, hiding. Yeah, so, you know, to the boys out there, man, that's carrying them things, you know, that. That boy like a refrigerator, right. man, you know. Better get your uh, permit to carry. <laughs> Better get, definitely get your permit to carry, you know. And, uh, man, i like to thank Sco, man, for coming in here, man, and telling us his story, man, and just um, appeasing us, man, with, you know, the adversities of his life, man, and the things that he's been through. Like I say, you guys out there can really take a page out of his book, you know, um, if you are going through any adversity, you going through any poverty, any difficulty, you know, this man and overcame it all, you know, just being shot, four attempt murders, his brother getting killed, his daughter getting killed, you know, I mean, man, you know, him being paralyzed, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and still, still, still having the residuals of that, but not letting adversity beat him, you know. Study taking it, turning it into a friend, and utilizing it from what he learned, how he grew, and being able to just be the man that he is today, you know. So, we want to thank you, man, for coming in. Thanks for having me. You know what I'm saying? And and the viewers out there, I'm sure would like to thank you, man. You know what I'm saying? This Thanks is one for of watching. This subscribe. Is one of, yeah, yeah. Like subscribe. and subscribe, you know. This is one of the most anticipated, you know. So, thank you guys for watching another edition of Yacht Life Chronicles. We are better together than separated. That's you can right. catch me on YouTube at Yacht Life Chronicles. Catch me on Facebook. At Fortitude Yacht Life, you can catch me on Instagram at Yacht Life Chronicles. Um, and then, and what, what's your? You got any social media? Yeah, it's just my real name. You know, you just hit me up, Robert Jameson. Robert Jameson. <laughs> or Gorilla Sco on Instagram. I'm Gorilla Sco. Gorilla Sco. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Man, thank y'all for tuning in. This is another edition of Yacht Life Chronicles, where we are better together than separated. Right. Man. Part two coming too. Yeah. <laughs>